Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Show in the, in, the, in the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy chapter 1 and 1, we're going to show who Moses, who was, who was Moses speaking to the Bible. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Hear that, Moses, mommy? So, mo, unto, 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 unto all again, mommy? No, you listen, mommy? All right. So, these are the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. All Israel, no other nation. So read that, get me that in 15. Do it on 20 and 15. We're going to give you some laws, mommy. And the curses that will come upon us as, as people. Auntie. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, Auntie. So, Auntie. I see that you're looking into the scripture. You have the idea? I'm going to read it again. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, mommy, the Bible says, It shall come to pass. Do you know, honestly, what has come to pass, me, mommy? Wait a minute. It shall come to pass. It's going to happen, right? Wait. To up. It shall come to pass. Adopt the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. So, mommy, hear what Moses was speaking to the children of Israel that was supposed to keep all his commandments. If he did not keep his commandments, God give Moses commandments you know, to give the people of Israel. You understand? To keep it. And God said, if you do not keep his commandments, this is what's going to happen. Wait. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, you know? that all these curses shall come up on thee. All these curses. Uh, come again. That's what. Uh, uh, mommy. That's what going on. What do you mean? So, mommy, you're gone. But you, you didn't know what you did the Sabbath day. So, what are you doing on the Sabbath day now? Okay, we get one scripture before you go. You're an apostolic. So we apostolic from our worship. Huh? Sunday? We are doing a Sunday. You're not supposed to be worshiping on a Sunday. No, no, we can't we just teach and day. We can teach. No, you can do good on the Sabbath. That's what we're doing. You're teaching the word of God. We're not working. We're teaching you. We're bringing back the scripture to you. The word. You understand? Did you get a flyer? Did you get a flyer? Yeah, give me a flyer. Uh, give me that in me, man. Mommy, bro, hold on. Give me love. Give me love. Love, love, love. Bro, listen, man. Hold on, hold on, Miss Auntie. Hold on, Auntie, man. Hold on, Auntie. Hold on, Auntie. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show you what is love. Just say you love God, right? We love him. Yes, we love him. But all of us love each other. But do you, now ask you the question, do you love God? Help me. Huh? Keep my commandments. You know Christ said, if you love him, keep his commandments. Go to the Sabbath. Give me Nehemiah. Give Nehemiah to him. Keep the Sabbath day, mommy. We have to keep the Sabbath. No, no, no. Where you get that from? Where you get that from? Who taught you that? 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 No, who taught you that? Who taught you that the every day is a Sabbath day? Exodus, Exodus 20. Oh, yeah. Alright, All right, Auntie, you say every day is a Sabbath day. You know that there are laws governing how you observe the Sabbath? No buying, no selling, no working. So if every day was a Sabbath, guess what, Auntie? You would have dead for hungry, Auntie. What's that? Yes, that's one thing, that's one commandment that we're going to observe the Sabbath. But you say every day is a Sabbath day. Every Every day cannot be the Sabbath day, Auntie, because you have laws governing how you keep the Sabbath. One is 
No working, no servile work. Hold on. You're supposed to congregate on the Sabbath day. That's another law. No buying, no selling, no cooking on the Sabbath day. So guess what? If every day is a Sabbath day and you're not allowed to cook on the Sabbath day, what are you going to eat? You're going to be hungry. You can't work. Exodus 16 and verse 22. Let me show you how you prepare for the Sabbath day moment. Auntie, Auntie, hold on, man. Hold on, man, Auntie. Let me show you because this Bible documents everything you know. All right, Auntie Ron gone. Bring it out to me. Go back to First John again. Go back to First John chapter two and three. So this is the, this is it for power with our people, brother. You see that you observe the sign right here, sir. Yes. You observe the sign. You, what's your question? What's your question right here? Because you see, see confusion, no? Some confusion of ours, don't it? Then we're going to prove that there's no confusion. This is the confusion. Because if you go to every church, if you watch our TV, Passion of the Christ, all these movies, cinema show white Jesus, no. I ain't never see a black man in that movie yet. But all I'm sure is a white Jesus, so blue eyes and tall heads. But is this recorded in the Bible? Well, you hear me say? This recorded in the Bible? You think this recorded in the Bible? I'm going to show you what, what color Christ is. This is the Bible. I'm going to show you. Just listen up now. Alright? This is not my words. Wait. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. So this is a revelation of Jesus Christ. The revelation means revealing. Brother, brother, where you going? Come, come, mama. Where you going? Come, man. But brother, this is a revealing of Jesus Christ. That was up. Uh, read it again. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servant. So it's just John, right? God was revealing the image. And revealing, revelation means revealing of Christ. It's of Christ. We're going to say if Christ is a white man, or if Christ is this, a black man. You understand? We're going to show from the Bible. Read. Verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God? Bear record, meaning written. It's there. The Bible is the record that reveals who is Christ. Because we go around and say, hey, nobody knows Christ. We don't know Christ. Christ is not Christ. Say, if Christ comes on earth, and so Christ comes on earth, right? And Christ have a body. Christ must have a body. If you come on earth, you must have a body, don't it? But what people say Christ is a spirit. So a spirit can go up on the cross. Can they kill a spirit, brother? They can't see a spirit. They can't see it. So how can you people say, oh, Christ never exists and Christ never? We never see Christ. We're going to show you. Read on, brother. Read. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. He saw. So we're going to show what John saw. We give me that in arm 14. Wait. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hair were white like wool. Come on, yes, sir. His head and his hair were white like wool. Check this, this image show that Christ our arm of wool here. This man of wool here. Is a tall here. This is tall here. Mommy, this Christ of this Christ right here, wool here. No. Christ of all here, right? Here, don't it? Right. This is what the Bible records. He um saying, read it again for me. Oh, God have something for you, brother. Right. So this is wool, and this is Morgan for me. So that example again, right? It's Morgan for you, man. Right. You have woolly here. Bring it out. It's actor. You have woolly here. A fire, eyes of flame as fire because what? What was Christ supposed to do? Turn water into wine. Right. Wait. So if you know, you know if you get, get me, get me. You know if you drink wine, right? And you start, you know the eye, the red eye, the white part of the eye is gonna get red. A black man, per se, we when we drink wine, the white part of the eye is gonna get red. You understand? We're gonna get this. This was recorded in the book of Genesis, the first book. Read the book of Genesis, chapter forty-nine and verse twelve. His eyes shall be red. With wine, I shall be red with wine. With wine. Go back to the scripture from the brother. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool, a 
as white as snow. His eyes were as a flame of fire. Because his first milk was white, and Christ you did you bright, but in moderation. In my drink and jump, I walk up my roadside and drop a ground. No, wait. And his feet like unto fine brass. Hold up, hold up. His feet were like unto what? Fine brass. Fine brass. Fine brass. This is brass, baby. Look down on your feet. What color is that? Brown. Brass is brown. brown. That's what that's what John said. You understand my brother? This is where we feel in Christ from the Bible. You understand? Because this image has been planted in our brain from the day one where we were planted into slavery. Right? This is what the so-called white man gave you, that Christ is a white man. That's not biblical. It's a lie. And then they give you Christianity. Because the church are not teaching you that Christ, the Messiah, is a black man. That's right. I'm going to show you to the brother. Read it on. And his feet like unto fine grass of this blood burned in a furnace. That was burned in a furnace. You know, if we stand all here, so, then the sun will day. What color of skin again? It's like on the brown. Right? Let me stop right this whole day in the sun. Now get darker and darker. Same like you. Same like you, brother. So Christ was black. That's a brown black people right now. He took a turn black. Get me that arm in arm, Daniels. Seven and six. We're going to show you. This is this record in the Old Testament as well, brother. Ten and six. We're used ten and six. We don't use the Bible. You know, so we don't have, we don't have enough often plate, no, no pan out your for no money. Because we're, we care for our people, brother. We're showing the word, right? We're going to reveal who Christ is according to the Bible. Because full time now, people know who is Christ. Christ is not a white man. That's right. Right? We, the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 6. His body also Jonah. was like the barrel and his face as a bearish of lightning. So his body was unto barrel, his green mama, a garment. That was the same, right? Read. And his eyes as a lamp of fire. They will go again, read about eyes. That Christ would drink wine. Remember, I explained that before. You understand? Read. And his arms and his feet. So Christ of arms and feet. You understand, my brother? Christ of arms and feet. Yet you guys are. Look at. Come on, look at five minutes. Even five minutes, brother. Five minutes. So Christ have arms and feet. So how would you say Christ don't have anybody? But the Bible says Christ have arms and feet. Wait. Light in color. Like in color. Color. Color is in the Bible. Like in color. Wait. To polish brass. To polish brass. Brass is brown. That's why our people should love their color skin. You should love yourself, brother. You understand? Sister, you're a beautiful sister right here, but guess what? You know what's the problem with people? We don't like ourselves. We don't love ourselves. We, we tend to bleach our skin. Because what? We want to look like this devil right here. Bring it out! This is a devil, right? The, 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 the Bible says that. He's a devil. You know who's man? His name is Caesar Borgier. He's an homosexual. Yes! Right. So every time we go against his commandments, this is what's going to follow us. Curses! Curses! We're going to show according to the Bible. Wait. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. It, but it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass means going to happen. So as Moses was talking to the people of Israel in the wilderness, that did something's going to happen. Right? Wait. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you don't listen to the word of God. Right? Wait. To observe, to do all his commandments. Do all his commandments. Go on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Did not God command us. Come on us, meaning him, him push it for you. You have to keep it. We can't say, oh, sometime. No. We have to keep the laws and commandments. It's a command. We have to do it. But yeah, if not maybe, there's no if or maybe, brother. We have to keep them. Wait. That all these curses. That all these what? Curses. What? Curses. Curses, brother. Curses. You ever hear about generational curse, brother? 
You know, you about generation. My grandmother tell me so we are generation curse. We curse as a people. Look at all, look, all, look at our people. You think it's a live? It's a liberty? You the panel look one bicycle. This is not this is a life, brother. You understand, brother? This is not a life. You don't suppose I rope one bicycle. I think you're like this, bro. No! You understand? But the most I say is going to put a curse upon us if we do not keep his laws and commandments. Go on. We're going to give you some of the curses as well. Wait. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Overtake you, brother. Right? Wait. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. So cursed shall thou be in the city. Look at our people. Our people are cursed. If we go anywhere go in the ghetto area, the people are living in a zinc house, a board house. We're supposed to live in a land of Right? Cursed shall zinc fence. Zinc fence. People are living in a zinc fence. Then did you look at get the army cut up? Cut up all people are living in. And you say that um, oh, we're blessed? We're not blessed, brother. That's not blessings. We can't live them type of lives and we say we're blessed. Our man, our men going around wearing them pants on them bottom. Is that a blessing? Our female going around from man to man. Bleaching, sister, bleaching out them skin. Our brothers and female, our brothers and sisters bleaching out them skin. Learn them here. Shall not be in the city, bro. We are cursed in the city. I don't I know if you watch our um, news. The baby named George Floyd. I said, him? George Floyd. Every uh, the, the policeman kill him, have him kneeling and my neck and choke him to death. Bring it you understand? And, and come again. And they're talking about it's a heart condition. It's a heart attack. How can you have a knee on a man's neck? And then they say it's a heart attack the man catch. And he can't man ball out saying can't breathe. The man call out his mother. Mommy! Because you know him dead to come to feed me because this why this happened to him? Because the most I say we we'll depart from his laws and commandments. So anyway we go say you think you're not going for it. Everybody wanna go for him believe you. The band don't want to live again. You know? Because it's a Jamaica life hard. Yes, it's too curse, we can't get money, we can't this. You think I can go for it and live them um live the lavish life as I want? Evil, over here, sir. You still have the curse. <laughs> Yeah. You still don't get cursed, brother. Up. You understand? Yeah, you're still going to be cursed. <laughs> cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall thou be in the field. In the working field, we shall be cursed. You understand? We are going to work. We work one, four, one two, three, four, five, six, seven days a week. And yes, we will not get the money now. We are working on nothing. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.